Hello. Welcome to May. <laughs> Hello. We've made it I through am to your computer assistant. Assistant. The... That's what you sounded yeah, like. I know. I was. I was the paperclip. From my Clippy. Microsoft. Yeah, that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember his name. The absolute pinnacle of mansplaining. Yep. <laughs> Like, Microsoft is yeah. developing him, and every single female employee who tested the system said, this is awful and everyone's going to hate it. And they went, no, this is fine, it's great. Uh -huh, it's helpful. That. Um, <laughs> like these trains. It's like, so I don't know if this train's going to... Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's great. It's um, today we're going to be talking about something that continues to confuse and flabbergast me, and I don't quite... Words cannot express my confusion with Apparently this topic. Apparently not. <laughs> and the topic is Duke the Lost Engine. You are less aware of this situation because you're not in... I want to say you're not in the discussion. I'm not in any of these discussion forums, but I see comments pop up from people and I'm just like, why is this relevant? So, let's backtrack. So in 1970, the 25th book in the Railway series, Duke the Lost Engine, was written. These episodes, there were four stories. That's Oliver. Boy, when you shrink the pictures down, like these these books don't last very long. Um, it, it consisted of Duke working with um, Stuart and Falcon, who w end up changing their names to Peter Sam and Sir Handel. Um, you get four stories about. Duke being like, he's basically like a grandfather. He's like, back in my day, like, I would never do what you young whippersnappers would do. And there's a, uh, I kind of like Duck a little bit where he's like, there's a right way to do things. Um, and I've been doing this for so long. So kind of mentorish. Kind of, yeah. So then, so there are four stories. And then they adapted those four stories into four episodes in season four. The first four episodes. And then this train made a couple of like random background appearances in the other narrow gauge episodes. And then this train was never seen or heard from again. He was saved. That was that was part of his story arc is that he went he was put away in a shed. Oh yeah, yeah. This one and then the yeah. the yeah. grass and then they found him because they literally fell in on the roof and they said, We're gonna save him and then they saved him and then it was just like, Okay. And then they did nothing with him. My problem is that the engines and this fandom treat this engine like he is a god. And I'm like, there are so many more huh. trains on this island that I would put a higher on the worship him pedestal or her pedestal. Or <laughs> pedestal. No, it's a stool. No, <laughs> it ends A-L. <laughs> P-E... Pedestal? Pedestal. No, you, you lift him up. It's like it's like a step up, like a stool. Like oh you use God. a stool no, to step not. up. No, it's not. No, pedestal. I'm pretty sure. Well, it doesn't matter because a train wouldn't be put on one anyway. So, pastel. Pedest pedestal. Pascal. Pedestal! <laughs> so anyway, so... I don't understand the fascination with this train. I know that he existed in the merch longer because my sister yes. had him. Yeah. He was one of he was one of the ones that we had for the railway set for the wooden railway and for the wooden railway in I'd say like two thousand and four. That's about when the switches started to happen. Yeah, yeah. two thousand three, two thousand four ish. So I just don't understand what the big deal is with this train. I don't understand why people want him back in these episodes, especially when they're going to write one decent episode and then they're never going to use them again. I, I have distinct opinions, and my opinion is Duke, question mark? Is it because he was named after his grace, the Duke of Sodor? Who is the Duke of Sodor? Where is he at in this entire thing? I don't see him so making many questions. Appearances. I didn't want to have. Like, it just doesn't... There's It's so open-ended and none of it made any sense, and I'm just like... Why are you obsessed with this character? There are so many other characters that I would rather see in more comeback appearances. 
Boko's another one that people, like, are obsessed with, and I'm like, why? Anyway. Is it because you cut a personality? Uh, I guess so. I don't know. More of a personality than some of these other engines. Anyways, comment below. Please explain this to me. If you're a fan of Duke, tell me why. I don't get it. Um, like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel. We've got more videos coming. Um, we're going to be doing more discussions over the next several months about other things that aren't train related. Trains are going to pop up still because we got things that we're working on. Uh, but we'll see you uh, tomorrow and every day. Unless you disappear like Duke. <laughs>